The year 2020 will not be forgotten in a hurry as it was marked by the outbreak of the deadly coronavirus, a virus that has since claimed over 2 million lives around the world. The contemporary music industry was not immune to the pandemic as it left a trail of some notable names who succumbed to the disease. They include Nigerian radio host and music promoter Dan Foster, UK based Mercury Prize nominated rapper T.Y. Chijoke, a former lead singer for music group The Temptations, Bruce Williamson, among others. Early in the year, Nigeria also lost a high life legend, Victor Olaya, although his death was not linked to COVID 19. Despite the misfortunes occasioned by the pandemic, Nigeria's music industry somehow managed to record some reasonable growth. In this interview with young Afrobeat sensation Joseph Akifewa, commonly known as Joe Boy, Nigeria's reputation as a cultural powerhouse remained intact with a plethora of new creative works featuring socially conscious messages. So like, what would you explain that happened there in 2020 in the music industry? Yes, yeah, so, um, um, so we all know there was a pandemic. There was a pandemic that that led to, and the lockdown also resulted to artists not being, be, not being able to do shows and tour and make money from their shows and touring. But thankfully, uh, thankfully for for other sources of or other avenues of revenue like um, streaming, streaming merchandise sales and like online engagement, social media really played a, a huge role in making sure the music industry didn't suffer too much. Though it affected, it affected. Yeah. The revenue to a large extent but we found a way to adapt but for the most performing artist it was a down time as concert tours and other live crowd events that were planned ahead of the year had been cancelled or postponed due to the lockdown restrictions and other safety guidelines brought about by pandemic the implication was a loss of revenue both for the artist and the music industry at large i'm, I'm really glad that um our fans, like people that listen to music, are beginning to get more enlightened on the importance of like purchasing music legally. Because if you really love an artist, you really like want the artist to eat. The best for the artist to eat is by is by buying the music legally. So now that way, artists can make can make money. I you know I'm I'm really really big on streaming, and I think that kind of that kind of that has, like helps in, in my revenue. So the pandemic hasn't really affected. Well, on the good side, 2020 will be remembered as the year that brought back albums into fashion, the first wave of its kind in about a decade since the trend shifted in the favor of singles. Some of such intellectual works were seen in albums like Warriors by Tubaba, Afro Pop Volume 1 by Adeko Nigo, Apollo by Fireboy, Celia by Tiwa Savage, Twice as Stall by Burner Boy, A Best Time by Devido, Made in Lagos by Whiskey, Three by Paturanki, Yabasi by Basket Mouth, among others. Well, I mean, 2021 is here, so what should we expect from the music industry and then you in particular? What yeah. is your tip for us out here? Yeah, so um, expect something different. Expect something different, like industry you know uh, we artists we are really really super talented and, and we always keep putting our amazing music and personally for me the, the first the most important to expect for you but right now right now is the album is the album i'm super super super, super excited about the album I... while the outgoing year have negatively affected many around the world the inspiring effect of music no doubt provided some relief as a sense of optimism that better days are ahead. Say in Bishima, AIT News, Abuja.